My entire surfing career from the NSSA college division, I was an alternate, had some pretty good results, right up until my 2005 World Longboarding Championship, which isn't officially recognized if you Wikipedia it, but that's either here nor there. I was always hiding a secret. I'm an air guy, I like airs. I like Lost Atlas, I'm on the Dane train. I've always been a fan. But nobody my age seems to get it, that, that, that it's an art, that it's more than just athleticism. You know, it's not about hanging five or deep, hard, heavy cutbacks. It's about taking flight. I want to be a bird. I got wings and I want to fly. I'm ready for takeoff. You know, when I was a little boy, you know, some people, they, they have a playboy. Some of the edgier kids had penthouses, maybe a hustler. I had surfer magazines, and I used to read them from the beginning until the end. And I looked up to Curran, to Mark Acalupo, and even Dino and Dino. And when I found out it was one person and not two people, I still liked him. But secretly, I was kind of a Christian Fletcher guy. Now listen, I've done 360s, just minus the air part, on the face of the wave. I've done two, and my wife saw one, she was there, you know, so I have somebody who can vouch for me. I'm confident that it's about will and not skill. So Peter Terrace reached out to me and said, John, have we got a treat for you? We're gonna teach you how to do airs by one Mr. Kevin Schultz. And I said, who's Kevin Schultz? Did his grandfather create the peanuts? I love Charlie Brown. Who's Kevin? And he said, he's the air guy who did the backflip in the pool. And I was like, well, he did it in a pool. You think he could do it in real life? There's issues with flotation, with salt water, with regular chlorine. I'm like, is he the right guy to teach me? And he says, trust me, he's a young buck. He's gonna take you and he's gonna set you soaring. He's gonna send you into the sky. And I said, man, I'm already high as a kite. I don't know if I can go any higher. in life that you know are unexpected we we never know what's gonna happen every day is a gift okay and they told me to go out there and try to do airs and that's what I did and unfortunately on one of them I had a perfect section I was pumping down the line and the instructions were just launch just launch so what did I do I went for it and uh, I collided with the water photographer and I thought the men of surfer magazine were tougher than that everything just fell apart today and I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed. I'm still slim, I'm still fit, I'm still athletic, yet I wasn't able to put it together. Was it mental, was it physical, was it spiritual? These are questions that need to be answered. Thankfully, we got lower trestles, and that separates the men from the boys. I'm a man.